William and Tyre's Friday Night Rivals, a special Thursday night edition. Presented by Bob Johnson Automotive Group. We welcome you to Victor High School tonight, where it's the seventh annual Teddy Bowl. The benefit for Camco Days and Special Times. Great matchup here as we have the Blue Devils of Victor hosting the Royal Comets of Russia and Rietta. Along with Mike Danger, my name is Gene Vitaglia. And opening night, butterflies, it doesn't matter if you're a player, a parent, a coach, a spectator, it's always fun. Yeah, the opening of Section 5 football on a gorgeous uh, August night here in Victor. A great cause, the Teddy Bowl uh, for a good cause here at Camp Good Days. Man, what an honor to be here tonight. Victor looking good this year, competing in Class A. It's a crossover matchup. Rush Henrietta in Class AA. It's a young Royal Comet team, but they have a steady hand in Jackson Coppers. Jackson Coppers, who absolutely worked his body over the offseason, hit the weight room hard. He could add a new dimension as a runner for this offense. Great character guy. His teammates love him. A great student as well. We'll be keeping an eye on how Jackson Coppers performs tonight for the Royal Comets. And for Victor, they always love to run the ball and when they do well that's going to set up nicely for their tight end Nick Leonard who is a great pass rusher as well. Yeah look for Nick Leonard to get loose in that rush Henrietta secondary for some big plays if the Blue Devils are able to establish that run game maybe some play action for Leonard deep later on tonight. As we take a look at the Eid family of dealerships keys to the game first for the Royal Comets you you just want to keep things simple here tonight. Absolutely. Run the ball and look for opportunities to keep that Blue Devil defense honest by throwing it deep downfield on that arm of Coppers. And for Victor, they want to keep it simple. Run the football. And as far as an August evening here, it's going to be a great crowd for a great cause. Here. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of enthusiasm and electricity. It is the Teddy Bowl. It is the opening night of Section 5 football. And a lot of Victor supporters here in Victor tonight. It's opening night. Section 5 football is back. We're so glad you're with us. It's William Matar's Friday Night Rivals, the special Thursday night edition presented by Bob Johnson Automotive Group here on CW Rochester. Customer satisfaction is at the heart of Vision Buick GMC on Panorama Trail. With our exclusive Vision Care package, there's no add-ons, just added value. Like LoJack anti-theft protection. These days, you can never be too careful with your vehicle. Vision is dedicated to keeping you and your car safe. For a professional-grade experience and the lowest prices in Rochester, follow your heart to Vision Buick GMC on Panorama Trail. I was at a corner one night at nighttime and I see these lights come and a guy hits me head on, turns my truck over, got injured obviously, the truck was totaled. Uh, and I started asking around because I didn't know anybody. And every time I asked somebody about who should you use, time after time the name Salino came up. I called them. They make you feel warm, they make you feel like they really care, and they work due diligence to get things done. They're the best. Shows are back in Batavia. One of the biggest lineups in North America is coming to Batavia Airport September 2nd and 3rd, headlined by the U.S. Air Force A-10 Thunderbolt 2, the U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptor. Vintage military aircraft, civilian superstars, along with food and fun for everyone. When the sun sets, the show will continue with a one-of-a-kind, explosive pyro musical aerobatic presentation. Intermixing pyro, music, and airplanes. Premium seating and general admission tickets available while supplies last at wingsoverbatavia.com. Inside the NFL is coming to the CW. The show the pros watch is now for everyone. Inside the NFL, season premiere Tuesday, September 5th on the CW. The Swarm, series premiere Tuesday, September 12th. Back to Victor High School, where it's William Matar's Friday Night Rivals, the special Thursday night edition, presented by Bob Johnson Automotive Group. Victor has won the toss. They're getting back on the field. Victor in the navy blue and the gold, the Royal Comets in the white, and a little bit of green, the black helmets. Mike Danger, beautiful night for football here in Victor. Couldn't ask for anything better to start your Section 5 football season. Can't wait for the Teddy Bowl here in Victor tonight, Gino. As 
as we await the kickoff. Please pull the music. The kickoff presented by Bill Grace. Gimme, 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 Bill Grace. And we are underway the Section 5 season as a kick will be from the far side. Getting up to the 20 to the 25. There's some room, some daylight on the left side. And then tackle from behind. Adam Ruffalo with the big return for Victor. With third member of our broadcast team, we say good evening to Kevin Roche. All right, good evening, guys. You know, the preparation that goes into a brand new football season is essentially the same for all teams across the country. The work begins when the season ended last year. The weight program starts, the off-season workouts start, and then, of course, that leads up to two-a-days in August and then the kickoff of a brand new season like we have here tonight. In Victor, they do their business a little differently compared to other teams in our area. Each July, they head East, about two hours from here to Hamilton College, where they kind of set up a mini NFL training camp. They spend four days there as we pick up the action. Victor going into the end zone, actually down at the one on the play. But getting back to Victor, heading to Hamilton College each July, they stay in the dorms, they eat their meals together in the dining halls, they have team meetings and they practice three times a day. The coach says, who's been here 13 years that they've done it most of his tenure here at Victor and the student athletes said it's hot it's a grind but boy does it make us feel like a team and boy that's why Victor has been successful during the Jeff Mandel era guys all right thank you Kevin that's an American custom exteriors and interiors touchdown the home improvement company that cares two plays 45 yards the screen to Ruffalo and then the Yomas getting his first of the season, yeah. a one-yard carry. Dre Yomas with the one-yard touchdown plunge there for the uh, Blue Devils offense. Just uh, just bigger size up front, a good push, and uh, the first points of the Section 5 season. Did not even have a chance to introduce your starting lineup. Says the kick will be blocked. So good special teams play by RH and our score 6-0. It could have been a Sir Patton. Take a look at the touchdown. Set up nicely by the Ruffalo screen and was the Ruffalo kick return. So a great start to the season for the Blue Devils here. And we haven't had a chance to mention it yet. I mean, one of the advantages that Victor might have tonight is just their experience, Gene. They've got over 20 seniors on this roster, which is more than double the amount of seniors that RH has rostered on tonight's uh, for tonight's sideline. Head coach Jeff Mandel of the Victor Blue Devils. Last year, the Blue Devils uh, getting to the Class AA semi, uh, losing to McQuaid. But this is a night that they own. 6-0 all time here in the Teddy Bowl. Yeah, uh, this is their night. This is their game. Camp Good Day is a great cause, and uh, Victor shows up uh, for, for the Teddy Bowl each and every year. And the head coach, uh, Joe Montesano, his second tour of duty for Rush Henrietta. And what you can say about Rush Henrietta tonight is that they will be well coached. They will be disciplined. Uh, I don't expect to see a lot of silly mistakes by this Royal Comet team under the uh, under the tutelage of uh, coach Matasano. And one of those captains of the team this year, Patton, will be deep. He might have been the guy who got his hand up with the block. We're not sure on that, but Patton, we do know, is deep back to return this kickoff. I don't see any wind out there, but the somehow the ball came off, and now Victor will come in to the opposite hash. We are only a mere 20 seconds into this game. We have our first points of the Section 5 season. Kick is high, and Patton will return this from the 10. Makes one man miss, and he'll be brought down at the 24. 
as we take a look at the starting lineups. Presented by the William Matar Law Firm. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar. And it's going to be on the shoulders tonight of Jackson Coppers. Coppers, a quarterback, running the spread offense. He loves this offense. Absolutely. And, and he fashions his game after Team Tebow. They'll be running a lot of spread and look for Coppers to make some plays running the ball for this Royal Comets offense. We'll give you the Victor defense after this play as it'll be first and 10 from about the 24 and the handoff between the tackles. Some good tackling on the far side. As getting his nose in there, Jameson Resigliano, one of the linebackers, only a gain of one on the play. It's a 4-4 here they will run. Three linebackers, Sager, Pelosi, and Resigliano with that tackle. And our player to watch, as we mentioned, Nicholas Leonard, number 89, it's second and nine. Coppers out of the gun, takes the snap, design rollout. Buying some time, here's the rush, and he's going to go down. And is the ball out? It is. Well, you called it. There he is, number 89. Nick Leonard with the big play, the pursuit, the strip sack, the turnover. Victor taking over now with the offense taking the field in the red zone. And for Coppers, if it's not there, you don't want to eat the sack, but that certainly is a better alternative than what happened just here. It's a very large young student athlete coming his way there, making that play for the strip sack. The recovery, first down, Victor. Jacob Lachlan is back inside the I family of dealerships red zone already as the handoff going left side, cutting it right between the tackles, the first down, and that will be inside the five. Nicely block on that play from the left guard, number 55, Jamison Riley, who sprung him free for a couple of extra yards downfield. Sigliano, who had a tackle on that last sequence, as Victor will rotate those running backs. Just short of the first down, this will be second and one. Full house backfield, the handoff, and we get movement before. And these are the types of penalties that will drive coaches crazy to pre-snap motion. Dead ball, false start. 89, offense. Repeat, second down. Let's back him up. Leonard with the false start. He is the tight end in this formation. Ruffalo going into motion. Pass will come near his side. The bubble screen set up. Breaking a tackle. Trying to get to the end zone is Eric Young. Young gets back the penalty yardage. This will be third and short. Boy, a big block on the outside there by Dre Yomas, who scored the touchdown for Victor earlier in the quarter. Uh, really physical play out there by Yomas to get a couple of extra yards. Jacob Harden will check in as a fullback, number 44. And what you would figure is four down territory here on third and short. The snap and the handoff going around the left side. And that's the second touchdown. Ray Yomis. It's another American Customs exteriors and interiors touchdown. The home improvement company that cares. Victor up by two scores. Boy, uh, rough uh, hold now for the Royal Comets to climb out of here. As we're, we're just a few minutes in, and, and you've already got this whole Yomis with the speed to the outside. They're just well executed, well designed play by this Blue Devils offense, and no answer from the Rush Henrietta defense. Tantillo to hold. The last uh, PAT attempt was blocked. And this one is true. We are a mere two and a half minutes into this, and it's Victor leading 13 to nothing. It's William Attar's Friday Night Rivals presented by the Bob Johnson Automotive Group here on CW Rochester. 
Local business is at the heart of every community, but lately you're seeing less local and a lot more corporate. But Eid Honda is still locally owned. So when you do business with us, not only are you supporting a local family owned business, but you're also supporting the hundreds of charities, organizations, sports teams and events that we're part of in your local community. So if you're in the market for a vehicle or service, please visit us at Eid Honda in Penfield. We're here, we're local, and we'd love to earn your business. Thirteen nothing. As we take a look, our Triple A scoring summary: Triple Medicare, Triple A. As you cover, boy, two uh, early touchdowns. Dre Yomas uh, hitting pay dirt twice here for the Victor Blue Devils. Uh, we'll see if Rush Henrietta has any sort of answer offensively here after the uh, strip sack that we saw in that uh, first offensive series. Boy, uh, really impressive start for this Victor Blue Devil offense and defense making that play. Uh, Nick Leonard making that strip sack there with their first, uh, with Rush Henry's first offensive series. So we are so early into this game, but it'll be good for our age just to get a few positive plays, just see if you can pick up a first down and kind of go from there. Band is here, stands are full, and school doesn't start till next week. Great atmosphere tonight for the Teddy Bull. As this is not going to go to Patton, it's going to come up on the near side. It's dropped, but then recovered with the return is Jihad Perry. Game jitters and butterflies out of your system. Slow it down a little bit and, and look for some, some momentum, some positive gains here early. Jamison Riley, number 55. He's ready to anchor that defensive line along with Anthony Battaglia, Yomis, and Leonard. They'll rotate guys in and out. Leonard to the near side. Jackson Coppers will be out of the shotgun for the majority of this game, you would figure. He's got three wide receivers, and the handoff goes between the tackles and almost hit immediately. Short gain on the play. Justin Medina with the carry for one. You've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of size there in the interior of the Royal Comet uh, offensive line there with Caleb Candelo, Ryan Schulenberg. Look for them to exploit that strength against this Blue Devils defensive line. Patton is the receiver to the near boundary on second down and nine. The play action, no, it's actually a handoff, and might have fooled me, did not fool the Victor defensive line as they win their assignments. A short loss on the play, third and long coming up. And we have a Victor player down on the play. As that'll give up both teams an opportunity to go back. Who knows, Mike, this time next year, we could be at RH under the lights, as this will be the final year that they will be playing without a stadium with lights. So talking to everybody in that school district, very excited about what's happening. I, I want to say that uh, Coach Montesano tipped us off that they might be the last school in Section 5 that, that doesn't have lights on the field. So... Uh, an exciting time ahead for uh, Royal Comet football. Good to see our uh, injured player up and off the field in his own power there, number 32. Keselowski coming over. That was a loss of two on the play. Andrew Goodell and Adam Ruffalo are the safeties deep back here for Victor on third and long. Coppers takes the snap, only bringing four. Coppers stepping up, he's hit as he throws, and the ball goes incomplete. He was trying to find the man on the near side, Brendan Magoni, the freshman, and it's fourth down. Well, he had Magoni. Uh, unfortunately, the, the rush got to him there as he was throwing the ball, and he wasn't able to deliver it with any sort of accuracy at all. But I like the idea there by Rush Henry to try and, and get some positive yardage, and even though it's just third and long, try to try to you know get that pass completion for that first down. 
As Magoni is going to do a little bit of everything for this team. He plays safety, he plays wide receiver, and he's going to punt here. He's actually the son of Brockport football head coach. That's SUNY Brockport. Jason Magoni, and that's a nice high end over end kick that Ruffalo will call the fair catch for. And yeah, enough time to kind of recover. And that is where Victor will take over. You know, we never even got a chance to introduce the Victor starters on offense or the <laughs> RH starters on defense. So if we can kind of do that, once again, it's brought to you by the Eid family of dealerships. Our starting lineups here tonight also brought to you by the William Attar Law Firm. Hurt in a car? Call William Attar. You see Paxton Mahegan, uh, our center here, anchoring that offensive line number 75. Voted the funniest player on the team by the team captains. He's a stitch. We saw his uh, picture coming into the stadium where he's holding a giant pancake. Let's see if he can pancake some defenders tonight. <laughs> now the throw near side and wide open. That's going to be young into RH territory, and that's going to be good enough for a lakeside roofing and contracting first down. Kangaroo first down, lakeside roofing and contracting. The home of Kangaroo, we hop to it. Well, you really need to see RH here probably look to get some sort of a stop. And if you're going to get a stop, somebody like Gavin Taylor in the middle there, Caleb Condello, who we mentioned, has some size and can get in there and affect plays in the backfield for this RH defensive line. Third trip on this side of the field already for Victor. 13-0 is our score. We've yet to even reach the halfway point of the first quarter. Some room on the left side and then hit. So some positive yardage there for Jamison to Resigliano. So Resigliano called about a gain of seven. Boy, and Brendan Mangone with a big hit. Mangoni with a big hit there at the uh, end of the play as well. You can see a lot of speed here with this Victor Blue Devil offense. And Mangoni, boom, right there. Would it shock you if I told you that was a freshman laying the lumber on that hit? Big hit, big yeah. stop. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch this RH team in a few years here with players like Magoni. As now, here's the wildcat, if you will, as Ruffalo will keep it himself. Fix the handoff. Did he do enough to get the first down? Well, the official from the near side, I believe, is going to mark it short. Staff, one of those freshmen. I mean, over the course of his his tenure, Joe Montesano's tenure with Rush and Riddick, he's only had to start a few freshmen over the course of years. He's got multiple freshmen on the field right now. Handoff between the tackles. First down yardage and more. Foot race to the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Victor Blue Devils. Trey Yomis, his third of the game already in the first quarter. And that is... Dre Yomas with the hat trick in the first quarter. It is getting er, it is getting late pretty early here in Victor. No answer for Dre Yomas so far tonight as you see the huge hole there. Able to exploit that and then the speed takes over 4-6. Third PAT attempt coming up for the Blue Devils. Snap is down. The kick. It does get over the crossbar. 20 to nothing is our score. Well, this was a concern coming in, right? Joe Montesano making no bones about it when we spoke with him earlier in the week. It's a young team. You've got some freshmen out there starting. And they earn their roles, but boy, they, they've been getting manhandled in the trenches so far by this more experienced Victor Blue Devil squad. Well, that is something they'll look at the film room. I don't know if that's manhandled or somebody just missed an assignment or two there, so... And it doesn't help when you turn the ball over, too, at uh, setting up the second touchdown. Yeah, Dre Yomas now with three touchdowns already up the night. We're not even halfway through the first quarter. As the Victor cheerleaders all doing backflips, every single one of them. Great community support here at Victor. Beautiful campus. One of the jewels of Section 5. What a great night for football tonight, Gino. Now for Victor, they are competing this year in Class A. Boy, 15 teams, only 8 make the sectionals in Class A. Not like Class AA where you have 9 teams and 8 of the 9. So that, at least that's the positives of our age. As now here will be the return and good coverage by the Blue Devils. 
calling a name, uh, Jamison Rusigliano, a lot tonight. He was down in on the tackle. Yeah, and Imani Wagstaff there, one of those freshmen that we were talking about on the return. You can see him kind of pull up a little bit there towards the end of that play as he saw a lot of Blue Devils bearing down on him there for the, uh, for the tackle. So Leonard will be on the right side of this offensive, this defensive line for the Blue Devils. Jackson Coppers. The junior looking back at the sideline. And he'll hand it off. Medina trying to get around the corner. And not much. Maybe two on the play. And you can tell that this is a disciplined, well-coached Victor Blue Devil team. Whenever, with every offensive play for Rush Henrietta, you're hearing run or pass from that sideline. Everybody on that sideline letting the defenders know which direction Rush Henrietta is going. Shane Kislewski helping to string that play out. Remember, he had to leave on the last sequence, so good to see that he's back out there. On second down, and we'll call it seven. Screen pass right side. Patton. Patton trying to stiff arm a man. He cannot. That's how you wrap up there. Nice tackle by Kyle Sager, the junior, to bring up third and long. Yeah, Kyle Sager with the great pursuit there. And just overall good pursuit by the Blue Devil defense. You, you're seeing them get penetration and not nobody really able to sustain their blocks. Great job finishing there by Sager. Tackling the lost arc, but not on that play. See how many Victor brings here. This is third down and nine. Blue Devils only bringing four. Here's the throw over the middle. It's going to be caught. And it's going to be close to the marker. With the reception to the tight end, Robert Mahar. Oh, boy. And, yeah, they're going to give uh, Got a flag on the player. A couple of them. And I think this is going to go against Rush Henrietta. I mean, not the start that you wanted, obviously, but you can't have mistakes like this. You have to keep your composure. You have to keep it cool. Especially when you you may have even picked up the first down right. there. So. You, you had some momentum with that play. You could have had a first down or close to a first down. Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike. 15 white. It's going to be a first down and 10. They got a first down. We're going to move him back 15. Right, so it's going to be first and 10. Our director Kyle tonight getting ready to cue this up. It, just a nice play. A good read there. Yeah, a little taunt there at the end, and you just can't do that. You know, you've got some momentum. You're feeling good. But oh. right there, that push, that headbutt, they're going to call that every time. You've got to keep your composure in that situation. Your team is gaining some momentum. I think they had the first down there. It they was close. Really, yeah, if they didn't close, have it, yeah. it was close. Yeah, and so that was Ruffalo, too. He went right. Ruffalo knew right away, too. Flag came down. So... Indeed, there was enough yardage for the first down. Then you back them up 15. It is a first down for RH. So their first okay. first down of the, the season, not exactly how you want to draw it up. Good for a kangaroo first down. Lakeside roofing and contracting. I'm a kangaroo where we hop to it. And meanwhile, Mahar is going to sit on the uh, sideline for a little bit. Think about that last play. We'll see if we uh, see him back in the lineup later on. Coppers without his tight end in this formation. As he'll hand off and some positive yardage across the 25 and up to about the 29. We'll call it about a gain of five. Bring up second and five. Another freshman for Rush Henrietta there, Justin Medina, with a nice cut at the line of scrimmage and a nice plunge forward for a few yards here. Nice positive gain. See if they can get some momentum here offensively. Coppers will have two receivers to the near side. Snap and running into his own man, but Medina keeping the legs going and he gets tackled forward, and that's going to be good enough for a first down. Another American Custom X Series Interiors first down, also a Kangaroo first down. Kangaroo, Lakeside Roofing and Contracting, the home of Kangaroo. We hop to it. Yeah, and Rush Henrietta might have gotten away with one here. It was close. Uh, Mangoni, you're going to see here at the end of the play, kind of putting his hands up almost a hold there downfield. 
but uh, enough on that play for the first down. And again, a little positive momentum here for Rush Henrietta. They need it. Yeah, and, and that is something that you, you want to teach running backs to fall forward. You're going to get extra yardage. And now things starting to happen for RH running right up the middle. And that's going to be another first down once again. Brought to you by Kangaroo. Lakeside Roofing and Contracting. Home at Kangaroo. We hop to it. Jihad Perry just getting some good speed there in the hole. Exploiting that. And like you said, you know, falling forward for a couple extra yards there at the end of his run. Finishing his run strong. Gives the defense a little bit of a breather. This is what RH needed. Falling behind here 20 to nothing. Boy. Handoff. And once again, Perry. And for the first time tonight... The Royal Comets will enter plus territory. About a game of eight on the play. I don't want to say that we need to see the replay of what happened pre-snap there with Jihad Perry. Let's just say that he had a reversal of fortune mm. right before the play, right before the handoff. He's going to go to the sideline and, and take a quick spell. Pretty remarkable that he was able to get the game that he got, considering, considering what just happened in that backfield for Rush Henrietta. <laughs> That's one he'll be able to share. That's a story he'll be able to share for years to come. Second down and two. The Royal Comets are looking back to the sideline here. Finally, they're going to spot the ball. Jamison Riley will come off the field here for Victor. Snap, handoff, and another first down as keeping the legs moving. Freshman Justin Medina. Another kangaroo first down. Lakeside roofing and contract in the home of kangaroo. We hop to it. Also a Tracy Door company first down. Tracy Door. Get a whole lot more from the Tracy company for three generations. The Tracy Door company. The 42, Coppers rolling to the right. Coppers throwing on the run, and is it caught? Yeah, they'll be patting on the far side. Yeah, incomplete. Incomplete. Looked like it was a little bit behind, uh, a little bit behind uh, Mangoni there. Good coverage on the play by the uh, Blue Devil defense. And Coppers showing a little bit of poise here, rolling out to his right, but a little behind. Good coverage gotcha. there. Good coverage on the play by Kyle Sager. Called his name a couple of times on defense tonight. Second and ten. Coppers has four wide receivers. Didn't like what's ahead of him. Now he's going to roll to his right. Improvising as Coppers and Coppers will go down. I think that was just great coverage downfield by the secondary and good pursuit. By a guy we've been talking about a lot tonight, uh, Nick Leonard, defensive end, senior for uh, for the Blue Devils. He'll be making plays offensively and defensively all night. Big size playmaker. He's already had a strip sack and recovered a fumble here in the first quarter for Victor. Mariano will be the receiver to the near side here. This is third down and 12. Snap. Coming for rushers, throw on the wall, far side, wide open, and then stepping out of bounds. That's Nasir Patton, the team captain, all the way down to the 20-yard line, again at 24. Good for an American custom exteriors and interiors. Custom. First down. Big, big play, and you see uh, Jamison Rosigliano on the coverage. It looks like he stops, or he just loses him, but you end up with a wide open Nasir Patman for the big gain. And here you go, Rush Henrietta inside the red zone. First and ten. And off between the tackles and motoring, trying to get to the end zone, spinning and touchdown! Touchdown! Justin Medina getting Rush Henrietta on the board. That's a gain of 20. An American custom exteriors and interiors touchdown. The home improvement company that cares. Man, how great is this? It's a freshman for Rush Henrietta getting an opportunity. Opening night of Section 5 football. Your team is down big early, and you just need a big play. 
tough running up the middle, doesn't go down, refuses, and just stretches out there. That's a bright future ahead for, for Justin Medina, uh, number 22 there, the freshman running back for the Mag Royal Comets. Magoning putting it up and through the uprights. And on the board are the Royal Comets. We are still in the first. It's William Atari's Friday Night Rivals, presented by Bob Johnson Automotive Group from Victor High School here on CW Rochester. Wrongful death after a motor vehicle crash, the words say it all, but do not begin to capture the anguish, the suffering, and the loss. It's hard not to be emotional during a time like that, but that's exactly the time when you need someone to be clear-headed, eyes open, and know exactly what has to be done to protect survivors and to get some justice. That someone will be me, William Matar, when you call 444-4444. Victor High School tonight, the site of the seventh annual Teddy Bowl. And we're here for one of the first ones against Aquinas and won that night. And Victor has not lost on this opening night. So we kind of come to signature events here. Well, there's been so many great battles through the years between these two schools. We know that both teams are, are very well coached. They're very disciplined. Last year, it was Victor getting the better of Rush Henrietta. Uh, they're going to try and run it here, continue to run it, play great defense against the Royal Comets. But it's got to be encouraging if you're a young Royal Comet team to get on the board here the way that you did and kind of answer uh, from being in that deep early hole. So Ruffalo on the opening kickoff, still in the same quarter. <laughs> and he's going to be back and catch this over his shoulder at the 10. Trying to set up some blocking on the near side. He has that blocking, 35-40, following his blockers, and he will go into RH territory. Another decent run by number five, Adam Ruffalo. Well, save for the block, save for the block extra point earlier this quarter, Rush and Rita special teams units had a rough go of it so far with a couple of long returns by the Blue Devils, and here you see another one with Ruffalo. Uh, taking it out of bounds, but uh, you know great job by him following his blocks Adam Ruffalo the uh, the Senior wide receiver for the Blue Devils making plays on special teams Ruffalo also had the screen pass that set up on the first drive Victor with the first and goal from the one Just tuning in Yomas with three touchdowns here tonight and This will be Resigliano on the near side absorbing a hit but still trying to move forward So he'll get some positive yardage across the 45 and mark him down to about the 43. So you saw the uh, Rush Henrietta offense answer. Let's see if the defensive side of the ball can put a stop to what Victor's been able to do offensively. They've had their way and have really kind of pushed around this Royal Comet defense so far tonight. Sager will be one of the receivers. They're going to go trips to the left. Different formation here. Nobody on the near side on second down and seven. The snap and keeping it on the ground and not letting him go at all. That's number 18, Jihad Perry with the tackle. No gain on the play. Yeah, Perry unblocked. Uh, you mentioned trips wide to the left there, and, and that left Perry basically unblocked for that play. He was able to get in the backfield, complete the tackle, minimize the gain. Opportunity here for RH to get the stop. Victor might just take it to the quarter, and uh, head coach Jeff Mandela is saying, yeah, let's, let's just kind of do that, waving everybody over here as they will let the seconds kind of tick down. Section 5 season is underway tonight from Victor High School. It's William Attar's Friday Night Rivals, presented by Bob Johnson Automotive Group here on CW Rochester. Come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. See how available features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist make backing up as easy as turning a knob. Watch as Pro Power on board lights up the night. And Ford Blue Cruise makes driving even more fun. Get into a brand new F-150 with 3.9% 60-month financing plus 750 cash back. That's 3.9 for 60 plus 750 back. 
Hi, my name is Ed Kelty, and I've been a customer of Four Winds for three years. I've dealt with a lot of contractors over the years, and Anthony is much more like I'm building a family business. I would highly recommend Anthony and the Four Winds company. Give them a call, and they'll be very responsive. They always have been for us. Last year, there were over 2,800 motorcycle crashes right here in our state. When motorcycles get knocked down, my name comes up. William Matar, the lawyer to call after a motorcycle crash. Call 444-4444. Find the tag zone and save big on your favorite Chevrolet models and used vehicles at all Bob Johnson stores. Whether you're looking for a stylish sedan, a versatile SUV, or a powerful truck, we have them all. Uncover your savings at Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Find your tag. Find your deal. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. It's a better place to buy a car. Mondays. Dude. The CW has the cure for the Monday blues. How weird is this gonna get? Four hilarious comedies. One big night. Oh! I said something terrible would happen tonight, and it did. CW Mondays. Monday at 8 on CW Rochester. The Swarm. Series premiere Tuesday, September 12th. We welcome you back to Victor High School tonight as we get ready for the start of the second quarter. Victor up 20-7. to 7. We go downstairs to Kevin Roche. All right, Gene, thanks so much. It's not just the start of the season for RH and Victor here tonight, but they've also teamed up for a great cause, the annual Teddy Bowl, which benefits Camp Good Days and Special Times. And, of course, I'm joined now by Gary Mervis, the founder of that organization. Gary, you started it over 40 years ago after your daughter was diagnosed and sadly passed away. What has been the mission of Camp Good Days? Well, it's a try to have children with cancer get back some of that childhood that their illness is stolen from them. A chance where they can be a kid again and do all the things that kids love to do, but do them with the only people that can understand what it's like to be them, other children with cancer. You're set up here in Rochester where it all started, but also in Buffalo and Syracuse. You've helped so many thousands of children in our area, in our region, but also in other states and around the world. Uh, what has that meant? Did you think you could make this much of an impact in so many people's lives? No, it was never planned. I never thought about this is what I, I want to do. It's just, you know, I was a dad, and when Teddy got sick, I know once cancer comes into your family, it's never the same. And, you know, the toughest part for me, because my job would take me out of town. So when Teddy was diagnosed, usually if the child has a mom and a dad, traditionally it's always mom that would put her career on hold, take a leave of absence. But in our family, it was me. And so I was the one that would... Sit up at the hospital with Teddy when she was getting her treatment, going to her many doctor's appointments. And it became very evident that the toughest part of Teddy's battle wasn't the craniotomy or the radiation or the chemotherapy the fall day. It was the loneliness. And, you know, it's, I, I'd be in Teddy's bedroom and she'd be, you know, every child, their dad's the strongest dad, the most athletic dad, and she'd be all looking at me hoping that I could make her understand what was going on. And honest, I'd leave her bedroom, go into the bathroom, lock the door, grab a stack of towels, and just cry like a baby because she's hoping I can help her understand. I don't understand what's going on. Well, obviously, the Teddy Bowl, just one in many events Camp Good Days does throughout the year. Of course, the Courage Bowl comes up next month. And if you'd like to help out or donate to Camp Good Days and the great work that Gary and his staff are doing, head to CampGoodDays.org. Gary, thanks so much for everything you do in our community, and best of luck here tonight with the Teddy Bowl. I'm blessed. I'm just a pretty face. <laughs> so many people, you know, have bought into what we're doing, and they're the ones that make it work. Well, congratulations, and thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Guys? Gary Mervis. So many he has helped. Children and parents and all the good work at Camp Good Days and Special Times.
as here's the throw far side and here is going to be touchdown number four for the victor blue devils and this will be the first one on the board for eric young on the screen pass that's another american exteriors and interiors touchdown that's the home improvement company that cares see a nice block here on the outside as well as you see the screen freeing him up and you know, just walking in the end zone great execution offensively on that drive by victor as they continue to have their way with this rush henrietta defense victor answering rush henrietta's touchdown as here's the kick did that get over the crossbar it did <laughs> so it counts 27 7 is our score victor ahead here william Matar's friday night rivals presented by bob donson automotive here on cw rochester car crash call william Matar for the win in a car crash, back injuries are serious injuries. Things like herniated discs can be life-altering and require long-term care. And the insurance companies often deny the compensation you deserve. Call William Matar. If you had a car crash and suffered a back injury or a herniated disc, our team knows how to prove the extent of your injuries and fight for the compensation you deserve. William Matar knows serious injuries. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar. Yeah, stay tuned for the Rochester Regional Health Halftime Report, your local leader in bone, joint, and muscle care, Rochester Regional Health Orthopedics. We'll have this week's Triple O Heating, Cooling, Electrical, and Plumbing Scholar Athletes. Service so good, you've got to find a reason to call. We'll also showcase our participating school administrators, first half highlights, and a lot more. That is the Rochester Regional Health Halftime Report coming up. Well, we do have a lot of highlights, and a lot of them are going to be for Victor here tonight. Already their fourth touchdown, ahead of once again by 20, 27-7 our score. The Bill Grays kickoff, gimme, 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 Bill Grays, as we get ready for the Royal Comets to get the ball back. A return close to the 40-yard line. One change for... The Royal Comets this year, Joe Montesano having a little extra responsibility. Ryan Kramer, last year's offensive coordinator, getting an opportunity at Geneseo High School. So Joe doing the double duties, and we're joking with him. You know, the offensive coordinator, that doesn't matter what program, what level. Yeah. You're always going to be, uh, you know, they're always going to question the offensive coordinator. That's absolutely right. You put a little added pressure on yourself there, Coach Montesano, with, uh, when you're calling the, the uh, plays on offense. And let's see what he dials up here for Jackson Coppers. We haven't seen him run the ball a ton, and we know that that's a big part of his game. Let's see if they can capitalize on the momentum they gained with their last drive. Coppers throwing the near side to Patton. Patton makes one man miss. That's a lot of players over there. We had the opportunity to talk to these team captains. Jackson Coppers pattering his game after Tim Tebow. And I, I have not seen the show on Netflix, apparently. There's uh, uh, something on, on Florida football from back in the day. Yeah. Uh, and, and he likes uh, Tebow. He's, uh, he's in that spread offense. He thinks he can uh, operate very similarly to Tebow. Big wrestler, too. Two-time Section 5 champion in wrestling. As the handoff right up the middle and then breaking an ankle tackle. That's a first down for Justin Medina. And play good for a Tracy Door Company first down for three generations. The Tracy Door Company. Medina's having himself a night tonight. You see a good little hole there exploited. And Medina using that speed and a little power there at the end. Again, this is a freshman we're talking about here. And he's having himself a nice night. Bright future ahead for Medina in the Royal Comet offense. Second time tonight, RH has had the ball in plus territory. As Medina will get the call, he is not going to find much there. Tackled in the backfield and coming up to make the play, that is going to be number 32, Shane Kislewski. No worse for the wear after being dinged up a little bit in the first quarter. Good to see him back out in the field and make it to place. No gain on the play is... Medina will come off. Perry will come on as the running back. Kizlowski coming up on the line here on this second down and 10. Coppers takes the snap. Doesn't like the, what's to the right. Now he's trying to take off. Breaks one tackle. Makes another man miss. 
And then finally will be brought down. Rosigliano coming up to make the stop. Only a gain of three. Pulls this down, Mike. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. He's scanning the field, realizes there's nothing there, and he can make a play with his feet. Uh, nice play by Coppers here to get some plus yardage. Back on the field, Robert Merhar, he's the tight end uh, to the right here. Had that first down in the first series, but then took the personal foul. Here he's coming off the line, camping out. The throw is going to come near his side. Well designed play as Perry underneath. Well, clearing out the route there was Mahar Perry. They will say it's a first down. That's another Tracy Door Company first down for three generations of the Tracy Door Company. Great job by Coppers to find his open man. He had some good coverage downfield here by this Blue Devil defense. You see a quick scan of the field and Coppers throwing it to the boundary there. Moving the chains and trying to gain some momentum as they did their last drive. Freshman Magoni in the slot to the left here. Our first and 10 at the 39. Looking left. Didn't like it. Copper's going to take off once again. Copper's a little nifty move there to get across the 35. Positive yardage down to the 34 for a gain of five. Yeah, I mean, this is what, what we heard about him, right? Great character, great leader on the field, and making good decisions there. Knowing he doesn't have it downfield rather than to put the ball at risk. The last thing you want here is a turnover. Let's just take what the defense has given me, make a good decision, get some positive yards. Live, for, live to play uh, another play. Patton to the near side on second down and five. And there's movement from Victor on that defensive line. I think that is going to go against the Blue Devils. Dead ball, encroachment. Number 61 on the defense. Five-yard penalty, first down. Connor Duran. Getting called and just can see. Yeah, jumping in the neutral yeah. zone there. Tracy Door Company. For three generations, the Tracy Door Company. Good for another Tracy Door Company first down. Mike, I like what RH is doing here. Slow the game down. And Perry running right between the tackles. Positive yardage once again across the 25. They'll mark him down to the 23. Good to see Perry back on the field. The last time he had a carry, it was preceded with a reversal of fortune. We don't need to see that replay ever again. But it's, uh, it's a testament to his uh, fortitude there that he's out there. Tough kid. Second down and three. Mahara the tight end to the left. Hoppers and once again keeping it on the ground Perry lowering the shoulder and he will get the first down Good for another Tracy door company first down for three generations the Tracy door company I feel like I want to sing that I've heard it the <laughs> hallmark of a good jingle and Perry wincing in some pain here. Let's see if he stays in And no, he'll come out Looks like he might have hurt his wrist or his forearm there as he was favoring that after the play. Justin Medina quickly coming back in as RH not wasting any time here. And we're back inside the Ide Family of Dealerships Red Zone. Ide, we'd love to earn your business. And as the ball going inside the 15 and down to about the 14. And it's interesting how keeping the run game has really set the tone here. It's a great way to build confidence in these young men for Rush Henrietta. I mean, let's face it, the, the Victor Blue Devils are a far more experienced team. But if you can get that push up front and some of your leadership there in the center of that offensive line, really uh, moving some bodies, making the run game work for Rush Henrietta tonight. Coppers handing it off to Medina. Medina, nice cut. And he'll go ahead for just a few. Jackson Pelosi, one of those seniors, making the tackle to bring up third down. Yeah, between Schoenberg and Caleb Candelo there, the interior of the offensive line, the center and the left guard for Rush Henrietta, getting a nice push throughout the game. We saw that pregame. Those, those young men have some size, and uh, they might be a young and inexperienced Rush Henrietta team, but you have some leadership there, some of your more veteran players. 
uh, they're making their presence felt tonight. You figure this is four down territory as the throw coming to the right side. Let's see if Patton can pick this up. Patton is going to be tackled. Ruffalo coming up to make the tackle, and it's going to be a flag once again. Oh, a push out of bounds. Robert Mahar once again involved in this. Boy, that's tough for uh, Mahar. He was engaged with the player, gave a little bit of a shove there as they were still out of bounds. And if that's another penalty on Mahar, I mean, these are the kind of mistakes. No foul. 15. Yep. Late hit out of bounds. It's going to be fourth down. Just can't afford that if you're Rush Henrietta. And that's the second time this half that Mahar has cost his team with a personal foul penalty. But unlike last time where he picked up the first down, yeah, it's going to be toward the bottom of your screen. You can see he's engaged, and it's that little push oh, right there at the is. end. Just unnecessary, yeah, and is, right in front yeah. of the referee as well. Yeah, it's, it's an easy one for the officials to call. Well, they're going to go for it. Why not? Nothing to be really gained by punting or attempting a long field goal. Copper stepping up. Is he going to launch it? Trying to buy some time, throwing it up. A prayer. Ruffalo with the interception. Ruffalo is to the near side, and he'll just scoot out of bounds. So... Really uh, just a little neck game there on the play, but regardless With the interception taking over will be the Victor Blue Devils We go to break here you're watching William Attar's Friday Night Rivals on CW Rochester Find the tag zone and save big on your favorite Chevrolet models and used vehicles at all Bob Johnson stores. Whether you're looking for a stylish sedan, a versatile SUV, or a powerful truck, we have them all. Uncover your savings at Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Find your tag. Find your deal. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. It's a better place to buy a car. Closed captioning for tonight's game brought to you by the Final Outlet. The Final Outlet, the best in fences, decks, railings, and porches. Now, during the fourth quarter of tonight's game, we're going to be selecting the William Attar player of the game. Her in the car, call William Attar. Still a lot of football to be played, but anytime you get three touchdowns in a half, in, in a quarter, Trey Yomas. Ruffalo watching the eyes here the quarterback coppers coppers. It's fourth down. He's got to try something Yeah, and it looks like if he got a little bit more on that He was he was looking in the direction of uh, number five there uh, in the end zone um, Not able to connect obviously looks like he got hit as he was trying to throw as well Navaraj Kosa the uh, closest and look out And a tackle a game-saving tackle there a touchdown saving tackle by Magoni as that was Ruffalo who had a lot of green in front of him Adam Ruffalo with a couple of really big plays so far in this first half a little bit off on the snap but good blocking downfield and then just speed and there you see the the play made by Mangoni there to save the touchdown but Ruffalo, the, the recipient of a couple of big plays here for Victor that put him in, a, in their offense in good position here to score. Good for another Tracy Door Company first down for three generations. The Tracy Door Company first and ten as the play will go to the far side. And this will be number four with the carry, Rosigliano. He's been playing both sides of the ball well tonight. Short gain on the play. Got to give it up for the uh, Victor offensive line who've been getting a good push up front all evening. You haven't really had many plays where you've seen Rush Henrietta in the backfield uh, disrupting the player or, or tackling behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Yeah, let's give a shout out to that offensive line uh, from left tackle to right tackle. Anthony Battaglia, Jamison Riley, the guard, center Paxson, Mahegan, Connor Doran, and then at right tackle, Chase Decker for the Blue Devils. Second down, and we'll call it five. As the throw will come to the near side, Ruffalo with a nice block, and Ruffalo lowering his shoulder and gets the first down. Nice block there by Eric Young. Another Tracy Door Company first down for three generations, the Tracy Door Company. Yeah, it was close with Young there. It looked like that could have been a hold as he was kind of like holding on to that block. 
You can see that uh, downfield. A little bit of the shoulder pad there. It would have been a ticky-tack call, probably. A ruffle lowering the shoulder there. And making Mangoni pay. So let's see if Victor decides how, how will uh, head coach Jeff Mandel play this. They can let the clock roll down and essentially not give much time to RH on the other side. As the handoff going between the tackles once again. And... Well, that's one way to make up for a personal foul play. Uh, Robert Mahar coming from the side to make the tackle. Well, if we've learned anything about Robert Mahar, the uh, senior uh, for Rush and Rita, that guy plays with a lot of emotion, and he's not afraid to get in there and get physical. And uh, he showed it on that play, standing up. One second down and 11. As Young will go to the far side. So coming out will be Ruffalo. Kevin Booth will come in on second and long. The handoff coming to the near side and scooting forward just a little bit. Halftime coming up. Brought to you by Rochester Regional Health. Your local leader in bone, joint, and muscle care, Rochester Regional Health Orthopedics. They will have this week's triple heating, cooling, electrical, and plumbing scholar athletes. Service so good, you're going to find a reason to call. We'll have highlights, and uh, Kevin Roche will have some interviews, too. That's coming up. Third and ten. Could be four down territory here. As the throw far side, little too much on it. Mangoni with the interception on the far side. Mangoni bringing it ahead, and that is going to give RH a little bit of life. The sideline loving it on the far side. And they should, man. That's Mangoni. He's a freshman. He made a big play earlier on offense, and there you see him making a big play with the turnover uh, to, to thwart this drive. That's good coverage downfield. A little bit of an overthrow. Mangoni at the right place at the right time, and a nice little return as well. First turnover tonight for the Blue Devils, and it's interesting. Like, now we're thinking, well, in the worst case, uh, Victor would go and take it uh, with a 20-point lead. RH now thinking, all right, if we can somehow cut this to a two-score game, it, it, the second half is going to be interesting here. And Rush Henrietta will also get the second-half kickoff. Chance to double dip here, as they say, Gene. Schmitz will line up at uh, the tight end position this time. A first and ten at their own 46. Play action. Lots of time. Now not lots of time. And that's really close to being grounding. But they're just going to call it incomplete. Yeah, Blue Devils defense lobbying for uh, a flag on that play. Joe Mas Matasano, the head coach. 14th season, second tour of duty at RH. A lot of mutual respect between these two coaches as well as mentioned earlier. Great matchups between these two programs through the years. Coppers buying time, rolling to his right, running out of time. Coppers will be pulled down from behind. We can call that a coverage sack. And that's going to be Dre Yomas from the far side, the defensive end in pursuit. Call it a sack or call it a no gain on the play, whatever you like to call it, third and long. Yeah, and uh, let's see if there's a, a timeout to be called. There isn't. The clock continues to run here. You're now inside of 10 Ooh, seconds. That, well, it, at it first gonna, I thought it was going to be horse collar, but it really wasn't. He was just kind of grabbing the nameplate there. And uh, that's going to bring us to the half. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what was kind of a bad start for RH, I'll give him credit, fighting back here. But certainly this is Victor, one of the top teams in, in Class A, showing everyone why. It is our 
Triple A scoring summary for the second quarter. Triple Medicare, Triple A has you covered three touchdowns for Dre Yomas in that first half, and that's the difference. 27 7 is our score. As we go downstairs to Kevin Roche. Gene here with head coach Jeff Mandel scoring four of your first five drives. What did you like about your offense in that first half? We, we knew we had some explosive kids, so uh, really limited the mistakes, uh, holding on to the football, which we do pretty so that last play right there, but uh, executed pretty well. Nice to have uh, some veteran guys like Dre Yomis and Adam Ruffalo. Yeah, like I said, we got some explosive kids. If we can uh, get them the ball and get bodies on people, those kids can do some damage. All right, coach, best luck in the second half. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Gene, Mike. Thanks, Kevin. Head coach Jeff Mandel leading this Victor Blue Devil program. We've got our halftime show presented by Rochester Regional Health. Coming your way next here. It's William Matar's Friday Night Rivals presented by the Bob Johnson Automotive Group. Three touchdowns from Dre Yomas in that first half. Here on CW Rochester. Taking the scenic route. I know this looks like a summer blockbuster, but this is a Nissan sales event to have. Five drive modes, this Nissan Rogue gives the performance of a lifetime. Now comes the real star of the show. Now get a low $2.99 per month lease or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. Gotta hurry, these offers won't get a sequel. By the time this Bills fan is finished drinking his Pepsi, you'll be 15 seconds closer to game time. Bills watching. Better with Pepsi. After a car accident, if you miss just one important deadline, you lose. Call William Matar for the win. We're focused on one thing, winning the maximum compensation for your car crash case. Call 444-4444. Customer satisfaction is at the heart of Vision Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Panorama Trail. With our exclusive Vision Care package, there's no add-ons, just added value. Like free rust proofing on every new vehicle. Because upstate New York weather can be tough. But Vision's got you and your car covered. Browse our incredible selection now during the Make This the Summer event. For the lowest prices in Rochester, follow your heart to Vision Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Panorama Trail. CW is your new home for college football. Let's go! As we team up with the ACC to bring you 13 electrifying games. Somebody tell me Saturdays will be legendary. The ACC on the CW. It all kicks off Saturday, September 9th. The Swarm. Series premiere Tuesday, September 12th. Welcome back to our special edition of Friday Night Rivals and the Rochester Regional Health Halftime Report. Time now to introduce you to this week's Triple O Scholar Athletes. Lindsey Richardson is a Rush Henrietta senior and a three-sport athlete, including cross-country and in both indoor and outdoor track. Academically, she is achieving over a 102 grade point average. Abby Bullwinkle from Victor is a member of last year's Section 5 Championship Cheerleading Team. She's active in multiple school activities, including orchestra, and she's earning over a 98 GPA. The Scholar Athlete Program recognizes students who achieve both on and off the field. Now, at the end of the season, one winner will be selected to receive a $5,000 scholarship to the school of their choice. We're grateful to Triple O Heating and Cooling for their generous support of the Scholar Athlete Program. As we go back downstairs, Kevin Roche once again. All right, Gene, thanks so much. Happy to be joined by some administrators from Rush Henrietta. We're here with Athletic Director Tom Stewart and new superintendent, Dr. Barbara Mullen. And Dr. Mullen, I have to ask you, you're from Chicago. Your impressions of just this atmosphere tonight in your first time being here in Rochester? Yeah, this is a wonderful energy. It's great. Uh, great spirit, great community. Um, RA strong. And so there, I was very excited to come out and support in my first opener today. 
Also, to be a part of such a great cause, tonight's Teddy Bowl with RH and Victor participating in the benefit for Camp Good Days and Special Times. What does it mean to your school district to be involved with this? So RH, uh, as I've learned, is full of leaders. Our scholar athletes are leaders. And so first and foremost, them knowing the reason why they're playing and keeping that at the center of their why tonight is really important. And it's encouraging and inspires me and my leadership as well. That's fantastic. Uh, Tom, I, I think it's been something we talked about two years ago. The stadium, everybody in Rush Henrietta School District has been wondering when it's going to happen. You told me two years ago it was approved, and now it's going to happen. What does it mean to your programs in this district to finally have that done? Well, I think everybody's excited to have a, a brand-new facility. It looks like they're going to break ground in a week or two as well. So it means a lot to everybody. I know we've been waiting for a long time for this. Can't wait to have a, a lighted game. We don't, we, you know, this will be the first time that we'll have lights and uh, turf. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, I had a parent meeting just the other night, and the excitement in the air was just fantastic. Everybody's really excited about it. I know the new tennis courts are coming along the way for my niece. She plays tennis at our age. I know she's very excited about that as well. I do want to mention some uh, great... RH grads in the news recently. Lene Tavia Thomas, part of the Texas Longhorns National Championship track and field team. And Section 5 Basketball Hall of Famer Kelvin Betts named the new varsity boys basketball coach at RH, succeeding Chris Reed, who had a long run at Rush Henrietta and a successful one at that, I should add. How gratifying is it to see your former student athletes thriving now that they've graduated? It's fantastic, you know, and what great kids, two great human beings are just spectacular really happy and they've come back and uh they it's it's great Calvin's back of course it's great to see him uh you know it's great when kids come back they give you a big hug it's just a wonderful feeling and to see them excel at the national level and at, you know Lene was in the world games this summer uh, in the 200 meters so it's really just a, a wonderful feeling that we have our RH alum coming back and doing wonderful things well I wish you both a very successful school year thank you so much for your time here tonight joining us on a special Special edition here on Thursday night of Friday Night Rivals. We're at halftime in Victor. The Blue Devils up 27-7 over the Royal Comets. These are spectacular. I wonder who the artist is. Glorious colors. I can see myself in that backyard. Cambridge pavers bring a backyard to life. And Cambridge pavers will keep their rich colors and stay beautiful for years to come, thanks to the unique Armor Tech process. Let Cambridge make a masterpiece of your home. Visit Sensenigs today. We're in the final moments of the Burger Bowl, and Bill Grays is on the move again. Give me, give me, give me, Bill Grays! Woo! Bill Grays has possession on the 20-yard line. It looks like they want to get the ball to the cheeseburger. At over a quarter pound, he's the perfect choice. B-19, G-38, hut, hut, hike. The ball is snapped, and it's a handoff to the cheeseburger. There's just no stopping him. He's in the end zone. Another touchdown. Bill Grays really has the world's greatest cheeseburger. The electric revolution is here. Bob Johnson Kia is stocked to electrify your driving today. From Sorento and Sportage hybrids, plug-in hybrids, to the fully electric masterpieces like the Nero EV and the 2023 North American Utility Vehicle of the Year, the all-electric EV6. All with Bob Johnson pricing. The future is in stock now at Bob Johnson Kia. Bob Johnson's got your mind. Bob Johnson. Wrongful death after a motor vehicle crash, the words say it all, but do not begin to capture the anguish, the suffering, and the loss. It's hard not to be emotional during a time like that, but that's exactly the time when you need someone to be clear-headed, eyes open, and know exactly what has to be done to protect survivors and to get some justice. That someone will be me, William Matar, when you call 444-4444. We welcome you back to the Rochester Regional Health Halftime Report as it's Victor leading here 27 to 7. Want to thank the good folks at Maseronis for their support, feeding the crew tonight. Victor, and should mention, under new ownership. So check them out. Maseronis, thank you for your support as we send it downstairs to Kevin Roche making their way off the field here, so they're going to jump in front of us. But I'm joined by Victor Athletic Director Dwayne Dewey-Weimer. And 
Dwayne, what a night here at Victor. Only two games in town tonight, one downtown, one here in Victor, but you're being showcased on Friday Night Rivals. What does it mean to the school to be a part of this? Well, the first game of the year is always interesting. Uh, when that schedule comes out in February, Jeff Mandel, our head coach, calls me and goes, so let's get that teddy bowl lined up. So it's our first game of the year. Really excited about it. Um, as you can see, summer's still in action. So all of our community members, family members still want to come out and see us. Um, but it's a phenomenal night. Happy the weather cooperated and uh, everything's going great. It, to be a part of something like the Teddy Bowl and, and to show these student athletes that there's more than football out there. It's about caring for your community. What does that mean? Well, we've said this before, and I'll say it again. Uh, we have our alumni come back, and when we talk about our season, they don't remember the score, but they remember the kids that came and participated and what it meant to them to be a part of a football team, a cheerleading team, a soccer and a volleyball team. And that just makes your heart just beat faster and it's just a great feeling to know that they made an impact on those those young kiddos and those kids made an impact on our kids and we really appreciate that and finally uh, a crossover game here tonight as victor drops down to class a from double a a year ago reclassification we talked with talked with coach mandel this week he said it doesn't mean it gets any easier does it oh it doesn't get any easier class a 15 teams in class it's a big class there's a lot of powerhouses in there um but you know, we, we really don't care what classification we're in. We prepare our boys to the best of our ability, uh, and we'll go play Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, anytime. Uh, we're just excited to be able to play football. And you have to play a few Thursday nights. You have another one coming up. Of course, you return to a regular schedule, a normal schedule, I guess, next week against Webster Thomas. And you got to start fast. And Coach Mandel mentioned that with 15 teams and only eight making it to the sectionals. And they have certainly done that here tonight, up 27-7. to seven. Dewey, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for hosting us here at Victor. Thanks for coming. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, guys. Back up to you, Gene. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Is a uh, boy. It's the last day in August, but it, there's a little cheer in the air here tonight. We'll have some highlights coming up next here on CW Rochester. Everything is up to 30% off at Raymore and Flanagan's Labor Day Sale. We've slashed prices store-wide, so you'll save hundreds on sofas, sectionals, dining sets, and bedroom sets. Get huge Labor Day savings on top mattress brands and get next-day mattress delivery and removal for free. Buy now and pay later. Take advantage of financing and pay no interest for 72 months. Unbeatable Labor Day deals, only while they last at Raymore and Flanagan. Introducing the You Can't Lose Challenge at Matthews Auto. Visit Matthews Auto for a test drive, and we'll give you $500 worth of freebies and discounts, including a free year of our rewards program. And if you decide to buy any new or used vehicle, we'll give you an additional $500 off. You can't lose at Matthews Kia and Matthews Hyundai of Greece on West Ridge Road. Car crash? Call William Attire for the win. In a car crash, back injuries are serious injuries. Things like herniated discs can be life-altering and require long-term care. And the insurance companies often deny the compensation you deserve. Call William Attire. If you had a car crash and suffered a back injury or a herniated disc, our team knows how to prove the extent of your injuries and fight for the compensation you deserve. William Attire knows serious injuries. Hurt in a car? Call William Attire. Inside the NFL is coming to the CW. The show the pros watch is now for everyone. Inside the NFL, season premiere Tuesday, September 5th on the CW. Oversharing can be weird. How you doing, buddy? I'm more excited than a mosquito flying into a nudist colony. <laughs> Weeknights at 7 and 7.30 on CW Rochester. Welcome back to the Rochester Regional Health Halftime Report. Your local leader in bone, joint, and muscle care, Rochester Regional Health Orthopedics. Along with Mike Danger, my name is Gene Battaglia. As 
Well, Victor got off the start. Every coach would love there as we take a look at the first half highlights. Yeah, you, you see it right away from, from the opening kickoff and a, and a big return from somebody who we've been talking about a lot, number five there, Adam Ruffalo. Uh, and then, you know, screen pass first uh, offensive play leads to another big Ruffalo gain. It gets Victor on the board early on in the first quarter. Dre Yomas with his first of three touchdowns there, the one-yard plunge. Coppers getting the start here tonight, and, well, he, he's not protecting the football in that play, and that is that was our player to watch, actually. Uh, certainly a number 89, Nicholas Leonard, with the strip sack and the recovery, and then just a couple plays later, it's Yomas once again, his second tonight. Extra point was good that time. 13-0 uh, our score. Here's Yomas and a missed assignment on the far side, and that's just some speed there. But, you know what? Give RH some credit here as they would fight their way back. This is a big gain on the far side going over to the captain, Nasir Patton, and then right up the middle. What a nice run here by Justin Medina. Yeah, Medina with that extension there. That's a freshman for Rush Henrietta. Somebody with a real bright future ahead of him for this team. So that was uh, making our score 20 to 7 at the end of the first quarter. Ensuing drive, it would be Victor just kind of saying, This is our game, this is our house. Eric Young with the touchdown as uh, the sun setting here tonight. John Hanna doing a great job compiling those stats and the turnovers, the penalties. Got to say, for Rush Henriana, both of those penalties, big. Yeah, big penalties. Justin, uh, I'm sorry, Robert Mahar with both of those penalties that came at very inopportune times. Drive killers and, and momentum killers. Uh, We've got to keep a cooler head here in the second half if you want to claw back into this game. It will be RH getting the ball to begin the third quarter, so that is certainly going to help out as well. And uh, once things kind of got settled down there, I was very impressed with the Rush Henrietta running game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, th there's no doubt about it that Rush Henrietta comes into this game the far less experienced team of the two. You've got over 20 seniors, over 20 seniors for the Victor Blue Devils, and you've got a handful of freshmen starting for the first time in, in Coach Montesano's career. He's got multiple freshmen starting uh, for Rush Henrietta. So that, that, that veteran leadership of Victor, that lack of experience for Rush Henrietta, I think that kind of showed early in that first quarter, Jim. Yeah, uh, and you're getting the feet wet here tonight, uh, this young RH team here today. Uh, and really what tonight is all about is uh, right now we're seeing Victor return here. You couldn't ask for a better atmosphere in section Great five. atmosphere, and what a privilege to be here calling the annual Teddy Bowl. A great cause for Camp Good Days. Looking forward to an exciting second half here in Victor. Thanks for making us part of your evening as we'll have the second half coming up next. It's William Matar's Friday Night Rivals, the Thursday night edition on CW. What are you doing out there? Taking the scenic route. I know this looks like a summer blockbuster, but this is a Nissan sales event to have. Five drive modes, this Nissan Rogue gives the performance of a lifetime. Now comes the real star of the show. Now get a low $2.99 per month lease or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. Gotta hurry. These offers won't get a sequel. I have a question. When a home improvement contractor advertises a discount, how do you know if it's real when you don't even know what the actual price is yet? At American Custom, we've always offered our best price the first time. No fake discounts, no gimmicks. Contact American today. Hi, Wing King Drew Serza here, and Bill Matar here, the head of the largest motor vehicle accident firm in the state. Speaking of the largest, it's almost time for the largest wing festival in the country, the Buffalo Wing Fest on Labor Day weekend. So I thought we'd have a little pre-wing eating contest. Ready, Bill? Huh? Amazing. Don't miss the Wing Fest at Highmark Stadium. The National Buffalo Wing Festival has taken flight and landed on the turf at Highmark Stadium. By the time this Bills fan has finished drinking his Pepsi, you'll be 15 seconds closer to game time. Bills watching. Better with Pepsi. Find the tag zone and save big on your favorite Chevrolet models and used vehicles at all Bob Johnson stores. Whether you're looking for a stylish sedan, a versatile SUV, or a powerful truck, we have them all. Uncover your savings at Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Find your tag. 
Find your deal. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. It's a better place to buy a car. Joe Montesano is the head coach of RH Football. He's standing by with Kevin Roche. All right, Gene, thanks so much. Coach, obviously down 20 at the half, not where you want to be, but your team seemed to settle down there after those first couple drives, especially in offense, got some things going. How do you claw your way back into this one? Uh, we just got to, you know, try and get some first downs here to start the half. Uh, hopefully have a positive return here. And we did settle in. Um, we do have to be more physical. We're, we're getting beat up a little bit on the perimeter on both sides of the ball. Um, so we, we just got to be a little more physical and come downhill and do things uh, a little bit tougher. We look forward to it. Thanks so much. Best of luck in the second half. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Kevin. As uh, head coach Joe Montesano getting his team in there. They're going to get the ball here and they're taking a few extra seconds here to kind of stretch and move out. Victor Band coming out in between those both big panels there. Yeah, <laughs> right had a good view yeah, of those yeah. panels there during the <laughs> halftime show. As, uh, boy, last year, in fact, the last two years, we've been kind of lucky with the weather here. And again, our good fortune continuing here on Friday Night Rivals. Practically perfect night. And what an unbelievable night to start the Section 5 football season here with the Teddy Bowl in Victor. Beautiful campus. Uh, great support from the community. We talked to... Uh, Coach Man Mandel and, 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 you know, these players, they all say the same thing. It starts young. These guys have been playing football in the program, second, third graders, grew up together, and all along the way getting just unbelievable support from parents and supporters here at Victor. Um, really great atmosphere and a special night tonight, Gene. And to help raise money for Camp Good Days and Special Times, they're having a raffle. It's not like any raffle. Uh, Josh Allen autographed football. Wonder how many uh, that's going to be uh, up to there. As again, we're coming to you tonight from Corbett Field. The Tyler Hutt Memorial scoreboard to our left. And for RH, I'm just going to be very curious, like, when we look ahead here, two years, what this yeah. program is going to look like. Yeah, for sure. Because you've got some, some freshmen that are getting unbelievable experience here. It's got to be a positive season for those guys, regardless of what their final record might be for the year. And, and you'll only see them grow. I'm very impressed with the freshman running back, Justin Medina, who has accounted for. Rush Henrietta's only points tonight. That was a very impressive run. He's had a couple of impressive runs. Uh, considering he's a freshman, playing up against some of these uh, big seniors that uh, Victor has out there. Yeah, bright future. Once again, it'll be Nasir Patton, uh, the man deep here for RH. New uniforms also for RH this year. Be before they were wearing the numbers and, and they were silver. I'm very glad that they're <laughs> going. And actually, they got rid of that. It was a rule change, New York State High School Athletic Association. That kick goes out of bounds. I don't know if that was the plan, but... It's going to give some good field position here to the Royal Counts. Yeah, with Kevin Roche talking about that reclassification with uh, A.D. Dewey Weimer. And Vic, this is kick out of bounds. We're going to mark five yards from where the ball went out of bounds. It's going to be first down. When originally Victor went up to class double A, first year 2016. They won the sectionals. Yeah. So they are the one program. Okay, double A, A, we're going to be right in the mix. Well, you got to imagine expectations are super high with the reclassification for Victor. Uh, I see a lot of parallels between this Victor squad and last year's Hilton squad. We heard from Hilton's head coach uh, last year, and he said, look, we're, we're a double A team playing A ball. Uh, they are, their expectations were high. They made it all the way to the state semifinals last year. Uh, you know, sky's the limit here for, for this Blue Devil team. In Class A. Rich Lapontney is certainly a character uh, for Hilton football when we, uh, here's the handoff. No, it's going to be a keeper by Coppers, positive yardage. 
when we talked to head coach Jeff Mandel, though, he was not taking any of nope. the bait on that whatsoever. Not going to say we're a double A team playing in class A. <laughs> like, and, and, you know, that, that's that's also a good approach, too. Like, hey, we're football guys. What time is the game at? Great. We'll be there. A little tempo here from the uh, Royal Comet officer. At least they got to the line of scrimmage fast. Looks like they might be checking here at the line. One of those check with me plays here. Coppers out of the shotgun, rolling right. And he'll throw on the run, and uh, it's going to be batted away on the far side. The pass incomplete. Ruffalo on the coverage. Yeah, good coverage uh, by the uh, Blue Devil secondary on that play. Really no place for Coppers to go, and all he's kind of left with is the attempt to complete, but a high ball that is out of reach. Good coverage downfield. Nice play by the uh, Blue Devils defense. That's uh, one of the few seniors there, Charles Eber, the intended receiver. Big third down play for both teams. See how many uh, Victor will bring here. And they're going to bring the extra man. The quick check down. Going to Patton. Can Patton pick this up? He does not have the numbers. Trying to break a tackle. And everybody comes over in the end. Good defense there. Everybody keeping their assignments for Victor. Yeah, real solid pursuit by that Victor defense. Looking to get off the field and have their first offensive series. Not a bad play design. Just didn't see anybody hold their block. I mean, you... you Saw, saw number two there get uh, kind of shed as he was trying to hold his block and not much there for the uh, Royal Comets offense on their first series of the second half. Kyle Sager, Adam Ruffalo in on the tackle. And this will be a punt here on fourth down with Ruffalo deep back. Good snap and they're going to get it off into the victor dark sky and it's going to be ruffalo to the far side breaking a tackle still and we'll get it close to midfield ruffalo dangerous returner he's made some nice returns throughout the course of tonight on special teams reversing field on that one and getting a few extra a few extra yards for the blue devils here as they start their first drive of the second half yeah during the conclusion of tonight's game we're going to be selecting the willie matar player of the game hurt in a car Oh, William Attar. There's one player that will be here on the lacrosse field coming up. That's number 11, Cam Ryan. Um, it, not available tonight, and he was on our captain call this week, but, boy, he's got a bright future ahead of him. As here will be the snap. Throw to the right side, and that's going to be Ruffalo, and he'll be tackled almost immediately. Positive yardage. He's going to be playing uh, lacrosse at Syracuse University. Yeah, up. And, and boy, it really, uh, really bummed out that he's not on the field with his teammates. But a bright future for him as well, as you see uh, Brown with the tackle there. Junior defensive back for the Royal Comets. To bring up second down, and we'll call it two. A couple minutes gone by here in the third quarter. Jacob Lachlan, quarterback, and he's going to keep it himself. No, actually, it's out of the Wildcat. It's Ruffalo, and Ruffalo will get the first down and more. That play was good for a kangaroo first down. Lakeside roofing and contracting home of kangaroo. We hop to it. Great execution by the offensive line of Victor, and you see 55 there with the pole and the block that springs free. Ruffalo for the big game. That's Jameson Riley. Pulling mm. and springing Ruffalo. So we're back inside the Eide family of dealerships red zone. Eide, we love to earn your business. Victor looking for their fifth score of the evening. And it's Yomas looking for score number four. Breaks a tackle. Yomas toward the end zone. No, he's going to be cut down, but not before another first down. Good for another kangaroo first down. Lakeside roofing and contracting home of kangaroo. We opt to it. And you see this year Patton looking a little dejected after that. He had him uh, de dead to rights and wasn't able to complete the tackle. And as we've seen so much tonight, Dre Yomas yards after initial contact almost getting his fourth touchdown on the night of that play ronan walker with the tackle for rh it's going to be first and goal from the three handoff toward the end zone and into the end zone touchdown 
touchdown for the Victor Blue Devils as they continue to roll in this game. And that is going to be Resigliano with the touchdown for Victor. That's another American Custom Exteriors and Interiors touchdown. The home improvement company that cares. Lowering his shoulder there at the goal line. We get that touchdown. The senior, the Victor Blue Devils, reaching Pater. Kick is up, and it is over the crossbar. And now our score, Victor in control, 34 to seven. It's William Matar's Friday Night Rivals here on CW Rochester. Local business is at the heart of every community, but lately you're seeing less local and a lot more corporate. But Eid Honda is still locally owned. So when you do business with us, not only are you supporting a local family owned business, but you're also supporting the hundreds of charities, organizations, sports teams and events that we're part of in your local community. So if you're in the market for a vehicle or service, please visit us at Eid Honda in Penfield. We're here, we're local, and we'd love to earn your business. Triple A scoring summary for the third quarter. Triple Medicare, Triple A, as you covered. And, well, that game kind of swung there a little bit. For, for Rush Henrietta, you got the ball to begin the third quarter and couldn't do much with it. And Victor quickly down the field. And now it's uh, it, totally Victor's good ball game. Yeah, I want to say five out of six of their drives for the Blue Devils tonight have, have resulted in a touchdown. We know the four of the first five resulted in, in points. So that offense has really had their way with the Royal Comets defense tonight. Yeah, just the one interception, so Victor has yet to punt in this game. And it is a long season, and talking with head coach Joe Montesano, he almost kind of forecast that there's going to be some ups, there's going to be some downs, and well, in the end, can we kind of grow together? As a return on the far side. And it'll be up to about the 30-yard line. Yeah, Coach Montesano also made an interesting point uh, about the youth on this team and, and the freshmen that have earned their role on this team. COVID may have hurt a bunch of programs in that you just didn't have a lot of kids for a period of time there during the pandemic playing football. No doubt about it. If you think where they are now... Well, that would be this year's senior class that would have been entering as freshmen. So it's not just, uh, it's, it's, it's an issue everywhere, but the numbers are starting to get better everywhere, yep. and that's, that's a positive. And first and 10 here for RH. And out of the shotgun. The handoff, keeping it on the ground, and this is what got RH going, and it's another nice run. Number 22 having himself a night. Justin Medina, good enough for Lakeside and contracting and roofing first down. Lakeside roofing and contracting. Home of Kangaroo, where we hop to it. He is so impressive for being a freshman. You watch his feet and his footwork, his ability to exploit that hole, and then the power to finish his runs. Really like this player here. Number 22, Justin Medina. Ah, and then there's uh, the jump there. So the pace kind of throwing Victor off, and it's going to be a free five yards. Dead ball, encroachment, and the defense. Repeat first down. That's something that uh, Jackson Coppers can uh, wear proudly. I think that's his second penalty that he's uh, been able to, the second time he's been able to draw Victor off sides. Now Zach Cummings, fortunately, <laughs> getting his name called in that that play. First and five will be our down and distance, and they're going to go to the air, and that's going to be good enough for the first down. A little quick throw, and that's all you needed. Five yards, good enough for another kangaroo first down. Lakeside roofing and contracting home of kangaroo before we hop to it. And maybe they have something here offensively with a little bit of tempo, the short, the quick passes. Using Medina, I'm sorry, yes, using Medina to kind of set up those short passes with Medina's strong running. There's going to be the run right up the middle, Medina once again, and it's the middle of that line too. Caleb Candelo, uh, the guard on this uh, this play too. 
His father Mike playing for the Rochester Raiders back in the day. Yeah, I mean, imagine having that your entire time growing up. You're playing the game, and Dad was playing for the semi-pro Rochester Raiders. He, he's been with him from flag football through JV, and he's he's a well, Condello is one of the heartbeats of this varsity squad here for RH, the cross player in the spring. He'll be returning to the wrestling mat this winter as well, Gino. Well, the funny part about the Rochester Raiders and how close our Rochester sports community is uh, as the play to the right side, and this will be Coppers, and he will run for the first down. So Mike Condell on this coaching staff, teammates with the new head coach at Aquinas, Maurice Jackson, who finished up his career with that team, helping them win a championship. And See Coppers looking left before he tucks it and runs right, getting enough for the first down there. We knew we would see Jackson Coppers making some uh, plays with his feet tonight. And they got themselves a little bit of a drive here in the third quarter. Running out of the field late here will be Chase Decker, number 73, joining that defensive line. So R.H. with the ball once again. That was, by the way, another kangaroo first down. Snap, plant throw, far side. And it'll be Patton once again. Down to the 31. If there's one thing Coppers has shown tonight, he is good at taking what the defense gives him. I think he's made, for the most part, some really solid decisions as far as when to tuck and run, when to air it out. But the short passing game is working for him this drive. Second and five. Play action, the throw left side, and a nice open field tackle. And that'll be the tight end, Mahar. That's how you that's how you draw it up on a tackle. Yeah, Andrew Goodell with great pursuit there coming down from the uh, safety position. And it looked like it could have been a bigger game. You had him in space, but boom, closing speed, good wrap on the tackle, limiting a big game there for Mahar. Ruffalo and Goodell. That's a... That's a nice pair of safeties they have here at Victor. Third down and four as uh, we're nearing the midway point here of the third quarter. Lots of time. Rolling to his left. Now throwing under pressure and hit as he throws. And that was dangerous, but it uh, falls incomplete. Now bringing up fourth down. Yeah, you can see there he is, number nine. Dre Yomas. Working his way through that uh, offensive line rush, Henrietta, to apply some pressure on Coppers. Jumpers kind of throw it in the dirt there. And get a look at Connor Dorn. Senior offensive lineman for the Blue Devils. It's fourth down and four. The snap. Coppers under pressure, and Coppers will be brought down. And the Victor Blue Devils will hold and take the ball back as they take over on downs. Jackson Pelosi getting uh, the penetration. Number 23, you'll see him right there late get in and close on Coppers to prevent any sort of momentum at all there. Stop the momentum that Rush Henry had going with that drive and once again, Victor takes over with a hefty lead here midway through the third quarter. Taking over here on their own 38-yard line with two receivers to the left. We'll see if the Blue Devils will keep it on the ground. And Jacob Lachlan will be back in at quarterback. Takes the snap and the handoff going right up the middle. Going across the 40 and up to the 43. If you weren't with us at the, at the top of the broadcast, Kevin Roach talking about the, the, boy, this isn't what they do at every high school. The camp for Victor literally was almost like a little mini camp. They go away and they went to Hamilton College and think about what that bonding experience must have been like for these young men. Yeah, I mean, and they, they kind of identify the leaders of the team. A lot of guys stepping up and, and you know, making the most of their time together. Um, yeah, again, mention that the expectations just have to be high. When you hear this, he goes away to camp and does what they do. I mean, they're, they're going to be a tight-knit group. Oh, you got a little jump there uh, on defense. They're a tight-knit group, so to, to see the result that we're seeing so far tonight 
shouldn't be a surprise just knowing how much these kids know of each other, have been with each other, have played uh, growing up and, and coming up through the system here in Victor. Coachman on the defense, five yards, first down. And if we see the jump there, so that uh, that would be kind of the first error, and that, that would be good enough for the first down, actually. Good enough for another kangaroo first down. Lakeside roofing and contract in the home of kangaroo, where we hop to it. First and 10 at the 48. And keeping it on the ground once again. And into RH territory. And draw the analogy, the you know, the Buffalo Bills don't have to go away. They have everything that they need back in Orchard Park, but they come to St. John Fisher. Right. Probably number one reason is you you hear Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott talk about it. It's getting the guys to care about one another. And certainly that's a great job by Jeff Mandela, kind of recognize the value in something like that, having these guys get to know one another as, as people. Second down and six. And the receiver in the far side will be Eric Young. Young has one of those five touchdowns tonight for the Blue Devils as the pitch will come to the near side. And big hit on the near side. That is going to be number 18, Jihad Perry, coming up with the stick. That's back in Victor territory for the loss. Yeah, Perry's played a physical game tonight, uh, both running the ball offensively and defensively, making a couple of really big tackles as he comes off the field. Uh, coming down there from the free safety position, the uh, junior for Rush Henrietta, Jihad Perry, having himself a nice night. It'll be third down and nine. Kevin Booth, the sophomore, will be the receiver to the top of your screen on third and long. Now Booth going into motion. And the backside screen set up nicely. Here we go. Is it Rosigliano? First down and more. That's number four, Jamison Rosigliano for the first down as they play good for another kangaroo first down. Lakeside roofing and contracting the home of kangaroo. Will we hop to it? Boy, that uh, backside screen really worked to a charm on that play. I think everybody on the rush, Henry, at a defense thought they were going to go deep, and you saw the little dump there to Rosigliano. Nothing but open field. Lots of tack lots of uh, blockers in front of him. Another big game. Big chunk play for the Victor Blue Devil offense. Jacqueline Brown with the tackle after the gain of 22. First and 10 at the 30 is now this will bring us under three minutes to go here in the third quarter as the full moon coming up over the horizon tonight. Is that handoff going to the left hash? Second down and nine coming up. As going back in with the play will be Lachlan. He still wants that that call. I don't think he's sure what this is. Keep an eye on that back judge here. And actually a little confusion here, and Victor is going to have to use a timeout. Yeah. So our first timeout of the evening is going to come here in the third quarter with Victor up 34 to 7. Well, next week. Yep, yeah, I'm, I, exactly. I knew what was coming up. Folks in Victor, yeah, that your rival will be on next week. Cannon Dagwa and you prep. We're going downtown uh, to the stadium. So Jeff Welch's Cannon Dagwa Braves, as uh, they will no longer be called the Braves. They're going to have to come up with a new moniker. But regardless, you prep. Uh, certainly a team in that. They're another team that's going yep. to double-A down to A. Boy, and, and you prep ran the table. You prep ran the table uh, earlier. Uh, last season in uh, double and there it is. There's a full moon Gina boy. It's a beautiful night here in Victor can't beat it Yeah, if you're watching this back down the road um, You know you, you may be watching this next week. Maybe years from now. It's like this feels like fall tonight uh, Game time temperature 67 degrees. It's gonna get hot next week yeah. It's gonna feel like summer next week as uh, we're gonna be back to school here Labor Day weekend and then school coming out and that's 
That's another thing I just want to point out, uh, a special thing about the Teddy Bowl. Just all the students and the families, cheerleaders, everybody, and uh, nobody has even reported back here for the first class. Second down and nine, so Victor using the timeout just to make sure you have the play call in. Three receivers to the right. And the handoff will go between the tackles. Jundrick Infante, one of the linebackers. Infante with the tackle. So it'll be third down and six coming up. Harris carrying the ball that time. Three receivers to the right. No one to the left in this formation. Showing run blitz. Instead, it's going to come to the near side. Just off the fingertips, Kevin Booth. That was set up nicely. Yeah. Pass going incomplete, though. Yeah, I think Lachlan would like to have that pass back. And then as soon as he threw it, he kind of tapped himself on the chest. That one's on me. Not the most accurate throw he's had tonight. Sager coming back to the huddle. And the ball inside the 30, they'll go for it here as Lachlan coming back to the sideline for the call. Yeah, that uh, if you're looking at that that down marker, we just show that fourth down. You kind of like the the down marker that li lights up here. Why don't they use that at higher levels? A whistle, and now we have a timeout. And it's going to be Victor using their second timeout. With that, we'll step aside here. It's William Matar's Friday Night Rivals, presented by Bob Johnson Automotive on CW Rochester. After his car crash, Jamal wanted a lawyer to stand up to the insurance company. He knew he had one chance to win. Sarah was worried about all the medical bills. She knew she had one chance to win. And Jessica wanted to make sure that she and her family were a priority. They knew they had one chance to win. So they called William Matar for the win. At William Matar, 100% of our team works on car crash cases. We have the knowledge and experience to win. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar. 444-4444. For the win. Number five had himself a knife. Adam Ruffalo tonight from special teams to playing wide receiver, making a play on defense. It's been the Ruffalo show here tonight. Yeah, he's been an explosive player for Victor uh, all three phases of the game. There's the interception of uh, Coppers from the first half. Saw a couple of uh, big runs. from. Here's another one from Ruffalo, another big run that set up a touchdown. <laughs> touchdown saving tackle right there. Ruffalo wanted that one. And then this is going to be the one that almost breaking this one as well. Well, you see Ruffalo on the sideline, helmet off. You get the sense you're going to start to see some of the depth players for both squads here as we uh, get closer and closer to the fourth quarter. So Great Vic night for Ruffalo. Yeah, Victor with one timeout remaining. As they will come back up to the line of scrimmage. Connor make that chase decker number 73 he's gonna be the right tackle on fourth down it'll be a pass screen pass near side Rosigliano breaks the tackle he wants more makes a man miss Rosigliano to the end zone touchdown touchdown Victor on fourth down 25 yard screenplay some nifty shifty moves by Jamison Resigliano it's good enough for another American custom exteriors and interiors touchdown the home and improvement company that cares well, Resigliano with his second touchdown of the night and you saw there were plenty of opportunities to get him on the turf Rush Henrietta just not able to slow down the freight train as he's headed towards the end so there are two touchdowns on the night for Jamison Resigliano yeah, arm tackles are not going to do it as that kick is up, and it is good. And our score now, Victor up big, 41-7. to 
That's a tough play for Rush Henrietta. Boy, felt like felt like they were a little demoralized on that play. Like, uh, do we really want to tackle him? No, I don't think we really want to tackle him. You saw the blitz coming in, and Rosigliano just splitting a couple of defenders. Arm tackle there, arm tackle attempt by Mangoni. Well, it, He's a was, freshman. He'll yeah, learn. and it, it was just the the right play call at the right time. And sometimes if you're a defensive lineman and you're coming in that easily, the, the alarm should go off in your head like, yeah. uh-oh. <laughs> you turn around like, oh, there was the screen. So uh, well-designed play by uh, the staff at Victor High School. Credit, nobody has left this guy. Yeah, everybody's still hanging out here. And, you know, it, this isn't the, the fun time of year. You're just enjoying these last few days of summer we have before school begins. Yeah, a yeah. uh, long Labor Day weekend ahead of uh, everybody here. And know that everybody's going to have a happy and safe Labor Day weekend. But the crowd here has been fantastic. We'll talk about the support that the community gives the Victor program. Uh, it's on display in full effect here tonight for the Blue Devils. Play coming to the near side, and good return is that is going to be number 18, Jihad Perry. So first and 10 at the 41. Trying to be mentally tough here at your age, you know, like this hasn't gone your way, but can you take this opportunity and kind of build off of it? Yeah, it's, some character here. Let's yeah. build some character. Let's see what we're made of. It's not throwing the towel completely and, and play with some composure, play with some strength. As they have run the ball nicely, and it's going to be Coppers pulling it down. And Coppers with some room. Coppers deep into Victor Territories. He's going to take it all the way down to the 35-yard line. So that's a gain of 26. Good for a kangaroo. First down. Lakeside roofing and contracting the home of kangaroo. We hop to it. Great play fake by Coppers. Fooled the entire Victor defense. Open field. I think Coppers was surprised, like, well, where is everybody? <laughs> I got all this open field. I haven't seen it all night. Coppers out of the shotgun once again. And this time, the handoff and making one man miss, bouncing it to the outside. And it's going to be the wide receiver almost on an end around. Eric. And it's going to be uh, Imani Wagstaff Jr. Number three uh, freshman getting the, the call there. Keith Kriegelstein with the shoestring tackle there, preventing an even bigger gain. A nice run there by uh, Amari. Shoulder pad hanging out. And uh, actually, look up. That's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. We go to the fourth opening night here. It's Teddy Bowl 7. Victor looking to get the win on opening night. Glad you're with us here. It is William Matar's Friday Night Rivals on CW Rochester. What are you doing out there? Taking the scenic route. I know this looks like a summer blockbuster, but this is a Nissan sales event to have. Five drive modes, this Nissan Rogue gives the performance of a lifetime. Now comes the real star of the show. Now get a low two ninety nine per month lease or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. Gotta hurry. These offers won't get a sequel. After his car crash, Jamal wanted a lawyer to stand up to the insurance company. He knew he had one chance to win. Sarah was worried about all the medical bills. She knew she had one chance to win. And Jessica wanted to make sure that she and her family were a priority. They knew they had one chance to win. So they called William Matar for the win. At William Matar, 100% of our team works on car crash cases. We have the knowledge and experience to win. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar. 444-4444. For the win. Find the tag zone and save big on your favorite Chevrolet models and used vehicles at all Bob Johnson stores. Whether you're looking for a stylish sedan, a versatile SUV, or a powerful truck, we have them all. Uncover your savings at Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Find your tag. Find your deal. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Bob Johnson Chevrolet. 
It's a better place to buy a car. Mondays. Two. The CW has the cure for the Monday blues. How weird is this going to get? Four hilarious comedies. One big night. Oh! I said something terrible would happen tonight, and it did. CW Mondays. Monday at 8 on CW Rochester. Scan the code for 13web.com's community connection and learn about the Rush Henrietta Rotary Car Wash to benefit Camp Hackamo September 9th. We are back. We go downstairs with a very special guest. Standing by is Kevin Roche. All right, thanks, Gene. We got a couple special guests here tonight: Jacob Harris, uh, Jacob Wolf, and Jack Harrison, two junior campers from Camp Good Days and Special Times, and also honorary coaches with the Victor football team for this Teddy Bowl game. Guys, are we having fun here tonight? Yes. Yeah. You having? What's been your favorite part of the Teddy Bowl? My favorite part is like all. I see. My favorite part is all the, is, is the, is all that, we, is all, and my favorite part about this is that I like it when they win, because I like it when they win, because when that leaderboard goes up, it makes me proud. Well, that's fantastic, and Victor is winning big here tonight for one of their honorary coaches, both of their honorary coaches, 41-7 here in the fourth quarter. Uh, Jack, what, you got a chance to go to practice this week and be around the team. What has that been like for you? Um, well, actually, I didn't go to practice. Oh, you didn't go to practice. <laughs> but just to be around the team here tonight, what has it meant to you? It's awesome. I've always loved sports teams and being connected to them it's just been always awesome for me and especially just meeting the players well, Jacob you went to practice you got to score a touchdown I heard what was that like um it was kind of yeah it was <laughs> I'm probably sure probably right now it's already gone viral <laughs> right now I think so <laughs> I bet it has. Well, guys, we wish you the best of luck in both your battles. Everyone's pulling for you, and we thank you so much for joining us here tonight on this special night here at the Teddy Bowl. And if you want to help out or donate to Camp Good Days, go to campgooddays.org. Guys. Kevin, I, we are big fans of Jacob and Jack. Let's make that go viral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As the handoff coming right up the middle uh, as we get back to the game here. Campgooddays.org. Get involved. Fourth down. like uh, R.A. just doing what they can here, running some clock. Rolling to his right, Coppers. He's going to fire through the end zone. Wobbling throw and tackled in the end zone. That's going to be a P.I. call. Now, of course, that's not an automatic uh, first and goal, but that's going to give the first down. Come on. On the defense, 15-yard penalty, first down. First. So I should correct myself. That was Mangoni, the, the freshman, not Coppers, with that. And, well, that's a pretty easy call to make. So his uh, first pass on the varsity level for number 11 will set up a first down. And, oh, well, by the way, that's a... First down brought to you by the Tracy Door Company. For three generations, the Tracy Door Company. We're inside the Eyde family of dealerships red zone as well. Eyde, we'd love to earn your business. And they'd love to earn a touchdown. Is he in? He is. Touchdown for the Royal Comets. Wagstaff Jr. That's good for another American Custom Exteriors and Interiors Touchdown. The home improvement company that cares. What a great opportunity for the freshmen here that have been playing all night to get a little bit more exposure for Rush and Rihanna Wagstaff, one of those freshmen, taking it to the house for six. And uh, from another freshman, the number 11, and Brandon Mangoni. So Mangoni will 
Well, he's doing everything. Playing safety, playing wide receiver, playing quarterback. Yeah. And well, he's well, the play, you, place kicker, You too. heard Montesano say that all these, Coach Montesano saying all these freshmen earn their spot of the team. They're earning it tonight. As the kick is up, and that is through the upright. So 41-14 is our score. We're in the fourth quarter. This is William Matar's Friday Night Rivals, the Thursday night edition here on CW Rochester. By the time this Bills fan has finished drinking his Pepsi, you'll be 15 seconds closer to game time. Bills watching. Better with Pepsi. Car crash? You have one chance to win. So call us at William Attar. Our focus on car crash cases has helped thousands seriously injured maximize their recovery. Hurt in a car? Call William Attar. 444-4444. Here's the AAA scoring summary for the fourth quarter. Triple Medicare, Triple A as you covered. And good for the Royal Comets getting on the board here as a palindrome of a score, 41-14. Imani Wag, uh, Wagstaff getting paid her just now for the Royal Comets. A little freshman-to-freshman -freshman connection there between uh, Brendan Mangoni and Wagstaff. Lots of youth on the RH roster this year, probably more so than Joe Montesano has, uh, Coach Joe Montesano has ever had to deal with his long tenure coaching for the uh, Royal Comets. Oh, a little squib kick, but uh, Victor is ready for it, and they're going to say... They say well, down. Down it right there. Okay, so when he received it, and he was down immediately, but for Victor, that's that's certainly fine. And boy, for everybody sticking with us from, from Russia and Rihanna, I'd like to say, hey, we would love to actually be at RH next year with the new stadium under the lights and everything fantastic. else. Yeah, like hopefully that uh, the schedule will work out okay. And we've done now Rush Henrietta games. Last year was against McQuaid. Yep. Two years ago, the victory at Fairport. OJ Singleton. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Like, yeah. Well, that, that wasn't the type of talent that's kind of moved on, but now it's the next generation here for RH. First and ten. As that'll go right up the middle, and we got another quarterback in there. Harris getting the call there. About a gain of three. So it's Eric Torres, the third, coming in. Another freshman quarterback. <laughs> That's not something you see too often here with this Victor program freshman getting on the field. As the handoff once again, right up the middle. And that's going to be good enough for a Tracy Door Company first down. For three generations, the Tracy Door Company. Yeah, you've got Nathan Harris in the backfield, 5'9", uh, 150 pounds sophomore for the Blue Devils. And a freshman at quarterback here at Eric Torres. Some valuable reps late in the game for the uh, depth pieces here in Victor. Good to see. It's Eric Torres. Torres uh, coming back over. He'll bring in the play. And he'll have three receivers to the right in this formation. RH, they play with uh, four down linemen, four linebackers. As the call will go right side, and that's not going to go very far. So the two's in here for Victor right now. Harris once again getting the call. Mason Mott, one of the offensive linemen out there right now, number 62. If you're just tuning in, Victor got off to a 20 to nothing lead. We're in the first quarter, and that's uh, that set the tone here tonight. Two turnovers by the Royal Comets 
And one of them not helping right off the bat is another run right up the middle. Harris keeping those legs moving. That'll go for about a gain of 10. And good for another Tracy Door Company first down for three generations. The Tracy Door Company. The impressive first down run there for Nathan Harris, the five foot nine, 150 pound sophomore. Yeah, look, for Rush Henrietta, I mean, as discouraging as this outcome might be, knowing that they are the younger team, the less experienced team on the field, and that they did have some some plays that you can really draw from and, and use and carry as momentum into week two and beyond. Isaiah Gully, number 10, in its safety now for RH. First and 10 at their own 41, and Harris coming ahead, and he gets tripped up. And that's a nice tackle there by Braden Kelsey, number 24, making the tackle. Not before he picks up five, though. Second down and five will be the down and distance. Three receivers to the right. The snap and the handoff going right up the middle. Harris. This is good looking Nate Harris. Get some valuable reps here late in the game. Never know when your number is going to get called. Well, something uh, Victor has not done tonight, that would be punt. So let's see if uh, this will be the opportunity here for RH to at least make him think about it. This is third down and two. And the handoff to Harris. Harris is going to get that first down. Harris making a man miss, and he'll be brought down at the 42-yard line. That's a gain of nine. Another Tracy Door Company first down for three generations. The Tracy Door Company. This will bring us under five minutes to go. Harris coming off the field for a spell. Needs it after this. Look at this juke here. Boom, right there. Big juke for a couple of extra yards at the end of the run. Pretty impressive by Nate Harris. Also impressive, you kind of doing a John Madden. Thing, oh, right? yeah. You saw exactly yeah. when it was going to happen. Like that, saw that juke? That was impressive. Torres handing it off and getting left side, carrying the ball with his left hand and getting ahead, trying to stiff our men. That's going to be number 21, Andrew Goodell, the starting safety, getting the call there. And he's got a. Love that. Goodell getting another first down, another Tracy Door Company first down. Yeah, now it's just about imposing your will on the defense. You saw a little missed stiff arm there by Goodell, keeping the ball inbounds, keeping the clock moving. The Tracy Door Company first down for three generations, the Tracy Door Company. Torres out of the shotgun, and they're going to just keep it very simple here as Harris once again back into the game. Got that little bit of a breather. And across the 20, and that's going to bring us back inside the Ide family of dealerships red zone. Ide, we love to earn your business. Second down and three. Long time consuming drive here as Victor looking to put the exclamation point on this. Handoff Harris following his blocks. Harris lowering his shoulder. Harris refusing to be brought down and the fans appreciating that. First and goal coming up. It's kind of run, kind of run that demoralizes a defense, isn't it? I mean, it's the end of the game. Got some second stringers in there, some depth pieces for RH, and you can't bring down Harris. 
One, two, three. I think I counted four or five guys who were trying to bring him down all at once. <laughs> Zachary Cummings, number 76, helping to lead the way on that. You know, for Harris, at least he's kind of showing, hey, if you need me in a different time of the game, too, I've, I've got this ability. It's a great opportunity. First and goal from the four. Harris is going to be brought down this time, though. And that'll be number 56, Miles Watts, with the good tackle. As we're under two minutes to go here, second and goal. I'm doing the math. You can't, you, you can't kneel down just yet. So, right on the edge here. Some power football by Victor here to conclude this game. Hand off right up the middle and just short to bring up third down and goal. Close captioning tonight brought to you by the Vinyl Outlet. The Vinyl Outlet, the best in fences, decks, railings, and porches. Appreciate their sponsorship. Third and goal. Mm, I'm doing the math here, Danger, and it's... Nope, you, you, you're not going to be able to... If you took a knee here, it's you're, you wouldn't be able to uh, run out the clock here. Nope, they're going to do it anyways, and... Good sign of sportsmanship there yeah. by Victor. That's it, and... I think that will call it a night. Both teams are going to line up here. And Victor making a statement here tonight. And they remain undefeated on opening night here in the Teddy Bowl. 7-0 all time. Your victors tonight. Victor. Over Rush Henrietta, 41 to 14. Our final score is we've still got time left up on the clock here as uh, we'll have the handshakes. And uh, Jeff Mandel, I'm sure everybody watching in Class A is thinking, oh, great, Victor is back in yeah. Class A right now. Yeah, they're going to be a force to yeah. be reckoned with in Class A. And, and again, you know, after playing Class AA last year, bringing back a lot of guys, a lot of senior leadership on this team with over 20 seniors. Uh, it's. I would expect that uh, the Victor will probably make a, a nice run this year in Section 5 and, and potentially even beyond the Section 5 uh, playoffs. Well... Always a fun time when Kevin Roach gets to hand out the Friday night rivals trophy. But first, let's do the William Guitar player of the game. And, you know, when you score three touchdowns all in the first quarter, it's going to be Dre Yomas, our yeah. player of the game. Yeah, Dre Yomas was spectacular early on. And, in fact, we didn't really get to see all of Dre. Dre Yomas probably could have scored six touchdowns if, if they were given the ball as frequently as they did. Dre Yomas looked great in the first half for the Victor Blue Devils. Easy call, our player of the game. There were other players, too. Leonard with a big strip sack. Yep. Certainly Ruffalo everywhere on special teams. Had an interception. Some big plays on offense. Uh, the offensive line for Victor. Just good statement win. We will be back with the postgame show coming your way next here on CW Rochester.